we are here at the 19th Annual University of Idaho Engineering Expo, and now we are talking with the Micromax design team about their project and their capstone experience. So, introduce yourself. And Hi, I'm Anthony Canego. I'm a senior in computer engineering at the University of Idaho, and this is Valerie Berry, who's a senior in electrical engineering at the University of Idaho. Um, so our project uh, was basically to create an integrated circuit that can harvest energy very efficiently from solar cells for very low power applications. So for example, you can use solar cells in, in large commercial installations to power your home or your business. Uh, we're looking at applications, for example, like uh, biomedical devices implanted in your body, uh, or for example, little sensors that you might spread out in a, a farm, for example, to take measurements on the moisture in the soil and things like that. So we're trying to harvest energy from, from sunlight and from biofuels and things like that very efficiently in an integrated circuit. So, given the variety of applications it sounds like this project has, who have you been able to work with in the industry and in the university, and where do you see this project going? So, this technology is commercially available for a lot of applications, but in particular, as we're looking at a sort of new marketplace for this technology and some new uh, technologies to enable that, our sponsor, the VSRG, and our advising professor, Dr. Suad I, have been the primary backers in the project as far as developing the specific technology. Uh, a project that Dr. I has worked on is a retinal implant uh, that's a camera that can harvest energy via solar cells uh, embedded in the imager itself. So in particular, that's the application we are targeting. Um, and so we've gotten a lot of advice about the, the kind of constraints of the design and, and how to approach the design targeting that particular application. During the course of this project, what have been your biggest challenges and also your biggest breakthroughs and victories in this process? So the, the biggest breakthrough that we had was we were trying to make the device use as little power as possible. And our goal was to use less than 200 microwatts of power. And we ended up using about 17, so just under a tenth of, of the specified amount. Um, one of the biggest problems we had is, leading up to Expo, we had a, a product that we were ordering from a Chinese manufacturer that got delayed in customs. So we actually didn't get a large portion of our project uh, as it was manufactured at all. So we actually had to come up with a backup and do that in the last couple of days uh, to compensate for missing that very critical component. So as a student at the University of Idaho who's going through this really dynamic capstone program, how do you think the capstone project as well as your overall education gives you a competitive advantage um, when you are competing with students from other universities? So in our field in general, uh, electronics design is something that you don't get a lot of experience in the classroom. It's something that you have to do as a design process. So we've gotten an opportunity that we just would not get here or anywhere else without this sort of a program. So for me and, and for Valerie going into an electronics career, it's, it's been absolutely critical for us to do something like this um, and enable us for, for graduate school as well as for finding jobs. So I've, I'm continuing and doing a master's program at the university after this, and I've also got a standing job offer in the desired field uh, directly as a result of the kind of work that I've been doing here. So the story is about the same for me. Um, I've had a couple job offers due to this experience and learning the tools that we learned for the design and learning the design process that many other students at different schools haven't had the opportunity to learn. It's given me a great competitive advantage in applying for graduate school, which I am attending next year to receive my PhD, and then um, applying for internships and jobs. And I had a couple internships trying to turn those into jobs offers specifically because of this experience and this project. And in addition to the specific work in electronics, a lot of components just related to time management are just something we wouldn't get anywhere else. All right, thank you. This has been a fascinating project. And overall, what has been one of your favorite parts about Capstone or your education at the U of I? And what advice would you give to students considering coming here and maybe studying engineering? For me personally, I think the biggest thing is, is getting to see a project from start to finish. Typically in engineering courses, we do a lot of really cool things in the classroom, but they're focused on theory and science. Uh, the real engineering, really doing cool things, comes out in the design process. So for me personally, it's been seeing the results of something that's really been a four-year process, learning these technologies and tools, and then finally producing something cool and tangible that we can hold in our hand and say, I, I designed this. Um, as, as advice, the biggest thing is be ambitious and think big. 
Um, personally, I think I, I came into school thinking I wanted to do one thing and I, I changed my mind entirely. Um, but by taking really cool courses and things that were, were challenging, I think I've grown a lot and I think a lot of where I'm going in, in the rest of my life is dictated just based on how ambitious I was with my coursework and with my project. All right, well again, thank you for taking the time to talk with us and to show us your project, which is one of the huge variety of projects we've gotten to see today at Capstone. And thanks again, and thanks for the opportunity to learn about this.